Oh, have I got a surprise for you guys? Right. Surprise is I got myself some new gym shoes. Obviously, those of you who are following me on Instagram would see I got new craps. Mmm, and they're looking good. They're feeling freaking fresh. I love these shoes. I got Adidas Fluxes, black on black on black edition. Yeah, triple black. Would you go black? You never go back. Hey, hey. Check this out. Yeah, actually, if I take the shoe off, you'll be able to see it better. Look at that, guys. Yes. This is super light, super comfortable. And then my new gym shoe, I absolutely love them. I just need to keep them away from Hendrix. If you choose these shoes, I'll not be responsible for my actions. <laughs> I'll kill that little shit. Look what he did as well. He did that. I was, stop, I was stopping him from because he jumps up on his back legs and then like freaks out. I have to stop him from falling over and breaking his back. So when he does, he clings on with his claws and he just sliced my arm. Little shits. But I love him and I have to stop him from hurting himself. You know, I'm kind of considerate person. <laughs> and another little secret, dudes. I've made another Gymshark order. <laughs> I've got another one of these tops. I've got it in black and white, and I've ordered another set of Gymshark trackies, but they're grey with like the blue, a little bit more expensive. They're grey with the blue stripe down the side. You probably know what they are already, but yeah, so I'm hoping that delivery will come, and then I'm gonna show you guys. So now I have like a whole new outfit. I have like new Gymshark stuff, new gym shoes, and just general shoes. So yeah, I'm gonna look fresh as fuck and I'm making all kinds of games, man. I'm so excited. So, a couple of days ago, my la basically my latest video, I said that I was gonna show you what I do for my, my bulk cooking. Like, I've now just started like proper bulking about four months ago. So I wanna make sure I'm getting my, cal my, my calories in, my protein in, all my nutrition that I need in, in a day, so I'm not lagging. I don't like eat like half as much as I need to. My phone just went off random, what the fuck? I don't eat half as much as I need to in a day and then I wake up and I feel like all my gains have like evaporated. So I'm just like, no! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you my meal prep for the week and hopefully, fingers crossed, gonna get around 14 meals in, like, like make 14 meals. So I've got two kilos of chicken. Two kilos of chicken, brown rice, broccoli, peppers, uh, peas, stuff like sweet potato, stuff like that. So, so when I'm at work for lunch breaks, I have a meal prep, come home from work, have another meal for the end of the day. So then I know that for each meal, I'm getting roughly 45 grams of protein at least in that meal. So I know if I'm, my target is 100 grams of protein a day. So if I have two shake, protein shakes a day, which is 20 grams of protein, plus two meals. I'm looking at around about 120 grams a day. So, no. <laughs> right, I'm in the car because I'm, I'm making all this, all, all the food, all the meal preps, but I've got nothing to actually put the food in. I need containers. <laughs> And I'm wearing a new shirt! I don't know if you can see this shit. <laughs> can you see it? Hang on, let me open the My car's beeping. Can you see that? Yes! Car, shut up. Looking fresh, let's go get some, I don't know how, is it really dark in here? I don't know, let's go get some Tupperware containers from Tesco's because I need someone to store the food. I need someone to store the food, let's go. You know when it's like mega hot? You know when it's mega hot in your car and your windows all steamed up and you have to have the heater on full blast? That's what I've got, it absolutely sucks. I have to steam it off. Windscreen's all steamed up and stuff, but yeah, I'm sweating my tits off now. <laughs> Remember this song? I love it! Love it! 
Right guys, I just arrived. Like, who, who remembers that song, man? It's been so long since I heard that song. It's absolutely sick. Right, I'm now at Tesco's. I need to go get some Tupperware, but yeah, I'm probably not gonna film in there because I ain't gonna be able to carry all the containers and vlog and pay at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, right, I'll be back in a sec. Right, I'm back guys, but everyone must think I literally have a family of 50. Got three packs. Well, well, one pack is three containers, hold one litre, and I've got five packs of them. <laughs> it sounds like, you must have a family of fucking hundreds. <laughs> right, let's head back. Let's cook up this food. If I start the car properly, clutch in. There we go. It's a nice M3 over there. It sounds good too! Sounds good! <laughs> right, let's head back. Oh ho oh, oh. ho! Smell it! Smells so good! Basically, to cut out all the boring bits and do what you guys already know what to do, I just got my two kilos of chicken, cut it up into chunks, added red pepper and green pepper, bit of curry powder for flavour, bit of salt, bit of pepper for seasoning, Bung it in the oven. How long for that dirt, Mum? Yeah, shove it in the oven until it's cooked. And then you get all these amazing juicy spices. And it, yes. So yeah, that's the two kilos of chicken cooked, done. Now I'm separating it into containers, which I just got from Tesco's. And that, that's 100 grams of chicken. Like, was it one, two, three, four, five, like six, five and a half chunks of chicken. So if I divide that, try and get 10 mils out of it, I'm gonna try, fingers crossed. And that's 27 point, that's, that's 27 grams of protein just in chicken alone. Then I'm gonna have 100 grams of brown rice, which is 7.7 .7 grams of protein. So what's that, 35 grams of protein. Then I got broccoli as well. So roughly gonna have 35 grams of protein per meal. Which is, which is awesome, it's good stuff. And it's gonna taste good, it's gonna look good. I've got the rice going at the moment. Brown rice. And then I'm gonna shove the broccoli and the peas in the steamer. And yes, then we've got to measure it all, weigh it all, sort it all out, box it, container it, fridge it for the week of food. It's simple, it's easy really. Right, I got a peel, the carrots, trim the broccoli, shove it in the steamer thing, that thing, let it go, that'll take about 25 minutes for brown rice, or more, whenever, I'm not really sure. And yes, so, I won't show you the boring bits of me peeling carrots and broccoli and stuff, I'll skip that bit and it'll be magically done. Ready, three, two, one. It's in the steamer. So yeah, roughly, I don't know, I don't know when it's gonna take, I'm just gonna ask my mum when it's ready. I don't have a clue. I'm thinking this is the first time I've done a bulk cook. So I'm learning with you guys. If I'm doing anything wrong, like let me know in the comment box below and then I can change it up or add something that I missed or was quite good to have for meal prep or, or whatever, I don't really know. So your guys' input is important and I appreciate it. And yes, let's, I'm starving, man. I actually want to eat this food. Right, uh, the rice is now finished. I've got all my containers laid out. I've got 10 here. I don't know if I'll be able to complete all 10 containers, but I'm gonna give it a go. So I'm gonna try 100 grams of chicken, 100 grams of rice, and then I'm gonna fill in the gaps of my peas and my broccoli, and then see what I've got left, space-wise, container-wise. I'm just wing it, really. <laughs> it's my first time doing this, so I'm learning the same time as you guys are. But yeah, so far, it's all going sweet. So, right, I was just um, weighing the rice, and that is only 100 grams. Let's see if I can show you. It's really not a lot of uh, rice at all, so I'm probably gonna put 300 grams of rice in. I've got 
a lot of rice to uh <laughs> to use. So okay, I changed my mind. Now doing 200 grams of 200 grams of rice per container because that's half the container. That's enough for me. I don't want to overload on food. I don't want to overload on carbs as well. So yeah, 200 grams it is. Change of mind. So now we do that. All the containers. 200 grams. 100 grams of chicken. Let's do this. Bad news, I've run out of rice and I've only managed to fill six uh, containers. But the last one's only got 100 grams in, so yeah, I used all the rice. I've only managed to do six containers, so that's six meals, which proves how much food you actually need to prep to actually do two of these, like two of these meals a day for a week is ridiculous amounts of food. So yeah, I'm gonna start off small introduce myself into this game. <laughs> uh, right, all I need to do now is add the chicken. 100 grams of chicken to each meal. But I'll probably You enjoying the food? You enjoying the food? <laughs> well, of course he is, he's a Labrador Retriever. Right, I've added my chicken to my rice, so now I've got 200 grams of rice, 100 grams of chicken in my containers now. Starting to look professional. And these are the chicken that's left over, so I just use that for like snack chicken. So if I come home from work or something, there's nothing to eat, I can just freeze that and then just take the chicken out and just eat it. So like snack chicken, snack box. Games. Right now, my veg is finished steaming. No, no, the buzz is gone off, so it's finished. So now I just add my carrots and broccoli to my meals. And I'm sweet. Right guys, my carrots and broccoli is now been added and I've got rice, carrots, broccoli and chicken breast. Actually looks good. I'm generally happy with that. It's easy, you guys can do it. Um, yeah, obviously, hopefully, it's easy to follow as I'm doing this, but if I can do it, you can do it. I'll crap at everything. And if you need help from your mum, ask your mum, because she knows everything, and I don't know shit. Because <laughs> I had to ask my mum through this whole process of how to use stuff, like the steamer and the oven and stuff like that. Because I'm pretty useless at that type of stuff. So yeah, I'm pretty awesome, man. Oh, right, guys, how awesome was that? So. That was my first ever meal prep. Well, I hope it is informative for you guys. I hope that you understood what I was doing. And it's not even that hard, it's just effort to do. So I guess that probably took me about two hours to do six meals. But now, if I got more food, and I did that for, I say, seven meals, let's see if I actually completed a week, if I actually got more food. I wouldn't have to do that again for like, well, another week. So I guess you could take two hours out of your Sunday night and then meal prep and then the rest of your week's free. You don't have to worry about it again. It's, it's actually really easy. and It's a great way to make sure that you're getting in the nutrition or the nutrients your body needs or if you're trying to build muscle like I am, you're bulking. It's a guaranteed way to go, right, I'm eating this. This is how much is in it. This is how much am I actually consuming that day. It's just a great way to track your macros. Personally, like I might have fucked up that meal prep, I don't know, it's my first ever one. So if I have fucked up, or if I should add something else that will help me build uh, more muscle in my bulk, then let me know in the comment box below. It'd be really, really, really helpful and I really appreciate all your comments and feedback. So yeah, I've got 200 grams of brown rice, which gives me 14 grams of protein just in rice. And I've got 100 grams of chicken and that gives me 27 grams of chicken so 27 grams of proteins worth of chicken so if i was intelligent i'll be able to figure that out in my head as i'm not i'm gonna use a calculator so each container contains 44 grams of protein ladies and gentlemen so what I actually meant to say was 41 grams of protein because 
I'm a dumb fuck. <laughs> it was actually 14 grams of protein in rice and 27 grams, which equals 41 grams overall. Thank you. Sorry for being a fucking div end. So that's awesome. So I have that one a day, two shakes a day, which is another 40, so that's 80, and then other bits of food. Probably push me over 100 grams a day. And if I manage to do two meals a day by cooking a shitload more food, you know, that's 88 grams of protein in food, then 20 grams on top, so that's another oh, 40 grams on top with the protein shakes. So I'm probably looking around 120. That's what I really want to get at. So if I, next week, I'm going to make double the amount. So I'm going to have 14 containers meal prepped. So I have two a day, lunchtime, nighttime. And I know I'm getting the right amount of foods, getting the right nutrition, and I'm not eating shit, I'm not snacking. Because we know what we do, guys, we snack. We snack and crap, especially if you're cutting. It's savage, and cutting as well, meal prepping for cutting. It is, it's a great way to stop you snacking. <laughs> it's like, we're really fancy, and just nick it. Anyway, I'm waffling on now, guys, but I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like my new shoes. I absolutely love my new shoes. And I can't wait for my new Gymshark stuff to arrive, and I'm definitely going to show you guys that. And yeah, I really hope you find my meal prep informative. Like, hopefully this comes across informative to you guys and actually helpful. That's the main goal. If it helps one of you guys out, then my whole pain of trying to cook and all that shit is definitely worth it. So, yeah, I'm really excited. And next week, I'm going to try and make my own protein bars. Like, how hard can it be? You know, <laughs> fuck it. You're probably thinking, you know how to do that? No, no, I don't know how to do that, but I'm gonna figure out. I'm gonna go balls deep in this and just figure stuff out. And hopefully it all goes well. But yeah, love you guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any advice, please comment below. Help me out so I can help others out. And yeah, please like, subscribe, and peace. And I'll see you next time, guys. Keep lifting. Ugh.